A wine glass and next to it an almost empty bottle accompany Monica, who sitting on the dining room floor turns the pages of a photo album. She thought she'd left it, with so many other memories, in her house in Barcelona. She thought somebody would have thrown it away with the rest of her things, but looking around without fully knowing what she was looking for, she's found it. There resides a part of her life, a very important one. Victor and her, smiling for the camera, and the sea and the boats in the background. In her beloved Barcelona, the city that saw her grow up, fall in love, and fall apart. She's never gone back, and has no intention of doing so in the future. In another page, Victor and her are drinking a cocktail with an umbrella. She remembers those holidays as the best ones in her life. They went to Thailand, walked through jungles and cities crowded with people and strange smells. Afterwards, they visited the most beautiful beaches Monica had ever seen. There they conceived little Pau. Monica thought she'd never be as happy as she was then, and she was right. Her boy had been a gift, a way to love Victor even more. But later on, the macabre surprise raised her heart, her soul, and her mind. She picks up the glass, and in one gulp she empties its content. The tears pour from her eyes and flood her soul with a thick substance that grows little by little, becoming denser and denser until Monica is finally convinced that it will asphyxiate her. She's acquainted with it. It's an old companion, but without the help of the medication, she's never known how to handle it. Her throat is closing. She picks up the bottle and drinks straight from it. She breathes in deeply. It seems the wine has opened a hole in the viscous tissue oppressing her, although she knows it will only be temporary. She remembers the smell of coagulated blood, of old urine and feces that smeared brown the knickers of those little girls. Always next to their bodies, like a damn calling card. The olfactory sensations are the prelude of madness. Monica knows it well. At least that was what happened last time. She saw the girls in her dreams, but when she started to remember the smell of their battered bodies, she couldn't bear it any longer. It's weird how aromas take us to other places and other times in an instant and in such an intense way. She wishes she were able to finish it once and for all. It would be the wisest thing to do, to end her suffering for ever. But she had managed it, or almost had, or perhaps she'd spent the last two years lying to herself. 